In this video, find out how to use smaller and bigger hand sizes in the same set to improve your pulling. Hi, this is Andrew Sheaf with Mastering Flow. I help triathletes identify the critical skills for fast swimming and I provide them with the tools to learn those skills in any location. For a free eight week technical training program to help you get your skills on track, click on the link in the video description below. We're working on improving your arm pull in a systematic manner to ensure that you get results. We're going over all the solutions you can use to improve. Once you know how to change your hand size, you need a strategy that you can use to put it into practice. The first step is to vary the hand position that you use. That is, you're going to change the hand position you use on a repetition to repetition basis within a set, or you're going to change it by rounds within a set. For instance, you can perform the odd repetitions with a closed hand and the even repetitions with an open hand. Or the odd repetitions with an upside down paddle and the even repetitions with a closed fist. If you'd like to make it more complicated, you can rotate between three different hand positions. As an example, you can rotate between a closed fist, an open hand, and paddles. As you can see, the possibilities are endless. So what's the benefit? Simply put, variability. You're learning to solve the same problem, whatever that set is, in slightly different ways. You're learning to create more force and move more water with each pull in slightly different positions. The more hand positions you can master, the better, as this will make your pulling skills more robust. This is particularly true in triathlon, where conditions are really variable and you're going to be having to deal with a lot of different factors. If you can feel water and move it effectively no matter what, you're going to be okay. The other benefit is that you learn the commonalities of moving water backwards. While each hand position requires slightly different strategies, they all require the same basic approach. You learn that commonality by getting exposed to it in a lot of different conditions. Check out the key takeaways for a summary of these concepts. Check out the following sets to see these concepts in action. For access to digital copies of all the sets described in this series and others, click on the link in the video description below. You'll get free and immediate access.